on the situation in California. Nearly 40 people have died as a result of wildfires there. Plus, despite the cold temperatures, we have one more warm up and one more thunderstorm chance, which may be our most active. I'll break it down and coming up. Good evening, folks. As always, my name is Talking Tom. Well, I'm Talking Ben here. This is Talking Tom Ben News. We'll get to all of our stories in just a moment, but first, a talking news exclusive on the condition, on the situation, rather, of Harvey Weinstein. Yes, a new allegation has just come in from a very known actress who was just a minor at the time of the incident. For more on this horrifying allegation, we are joined by Talking Tyler, our entertainment specialist. Tyler? Yes, thank you, Talking Ben. We are receiving new information that well-known actor Katie Beckinsale was sexually inappropriate with Weinstein when she was just 17. And this was revealed in this Instagram post. It's so shocking that I won't even read the Instagram post to you. I'll just send it back to you guys in the Talking Tom Ben News Studio. Get the decision, Tyler. That's Talking Tyler, our entertainment specialist. We will rejoin him in a couple minutes here. Anyway, we now go to some breaking news. Alpha 10 Productions has shocked the entire team at Talking News that after just over six seasons, it will pull Talking News from Talking TV. It has caused some backlash over some Talking News fans. So for more on this, we are joined by Talking Paul, who was recently named CEO of Talking TV. Paul? Tom, it was just announced recently that Talking TV was unable to sign a contract extension that would have allowed Talking News to stay on the network until season 9. However, I am receiving word that the reason why Alpha 10 Productions is dropping Talking News is because of controversy surrounding the recent suspension of founder Jason Kidman. As we've seen before, Alpha 10 Productions has tried to make Talking News a nightmare, especially back in late 2015 when the series took a lovely hiatus. We are currently working to get more information from Alpha 10 Productions, but what we do know is that this season will be the last for Talking TV. Paul, have you received any info as to where we will be in Season 9? Yes, and this just came to our phone here, but we are going to be on another major talking power station called St. Talk TV, but Alpha 7 Productions has yet to sign a contract with them. They will be signing one next week, but and we will be bringing you off coverage of it as it happens. Back to you. Alright, thanks Paul, that's Talking Paul, CEO of Talking TV. All right, developing news out of Eastern Talking City at this hour. Police are investigating after a two-vehicle crash occurred on Highway 58, just two kilometers west of the downtown sign. It occurred just after 8 p.m. tonight. No information has been released on the victim's condition. Well, it soon could be the end of Talking Tom Men News. Alpha 10 Productions yesterday announcing that season 9 could likely be our final season due to financial issues. The company has been struggling for the past few weeks with a $600,000 loss reported just this past weekend. Train service could likely be suspended next weekend. The Talking Theater Train Service Corporation says Line 9 between Harvard Road and Potmuck Township would likely need to be suspended due to rail work. Passengers are being advised to take Line 5 from Andover to Piertal Township. With the Talking City election just a month away, Mayor Talking Duke has decided to up the pressure by airing campaign ads on Talking TV. We were unable to interview him on camera. He did say that he would make the talking life more realistic. Hello everybody, Talking Duke here. Well, despite the cooler temperatures we've had over the past couple of days, we have a warm front just to our southwest that will bring us one more period of summer-like conditions and with it the chance of a few thunderstorms. So for tonight, we'll be seeing mainly clear skies with lows down to around minus 2. For Monday, it will be a mix of sun cloud with wind from the southeast at 20 km an hour and with a high of 10. And tomorrow night, clear skies with a low of 4. I will have your full 7-day forecast coming up. Thanks, Ginger. After the break, wildfires in California, the latest as five fires continue to fight the monster, as it's known. Plus, Talking Ginger returns with the 7-day forecast, and we are joined Talking Tyler with your entertainment update, including another story on Harvey Weinstein. That's all after this. Next fall, the story behind what is believed to be the greatest logo bloopers series is finally revealed to the public. It's Castle Rock Entertainment Logo Bloopers, the movie, and it's gonna get very exclusive. Welcome back. 40 people at least have been killed. 
killed and over 100,000 have been evacuated as fires continue to rage in Northern California. With the latest, we are joined now by ABC's Lindsay Janis, who is live on OK Ship. Good morning. Firefighters working overnight trying to tackle these infernos. Strong and erratic winds causing one of the toughest 24-hour periods since this disaster began. Critical to the fight. Nearly 150 aircraft, including dozens of the helicopters like the ones you see behind me, flying constant missions, dropping water and retardant on these fires, trying to slow them down. This morning, firefighters in an all-out battle to save lives and homes. All right, all right, let me get our feet, let me get our feet. Fierce winds driving fresh firestorms, burning more buildings in the Santa Rosa area and near Sonoma City. As an army of aircraft wage war on the flames from above, desperately trying to protect homes and wineries. We've had a lot of erratic winds. On the ground, 10,000 firefighters tested by volatile conditions. This bulldozer taking down trees and brush so the fire will stop. The fires forcing new emergency evacuations. Shut up, Police waking up residents hours before dawn on Saturday. Sonoma County Sheriff's Office, mandatory evacuation order, leave your homes. Chaos and panic. It's scary and then people are running out of their houses, you know, knocking on the neighbor's doors like, you have to leave, wake up, you have to leave. As hundreds scramble to get out, only to find themselves in a traffic jam. 100,000 people now forced out of their homes since the disaster began a week ago. The constant stress becoming too much. You're worried about where everyone is. You know, I go to work every day and I'm concerned, but hey, it's, it's okay. We're all together. This morning, the death toll climbing to at least 40 people. This is truly uh, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, tragedy that California's ever faced. Over the last week, two million gallons of retardant dropped on these fires. The Nuns fire that's raging out of control here in Sonoma County this morning, just 15% contained. Other major fires, including the one that devastated the city of Santa Rosa, now more than 45% contained. That's a lot of progress. I don't say that is Lindsay Davis of ABC News. Now let's go to Talking Ginger with your full seven-day forecast. Ginger? Thanks, Target Tom. Hello, guys. It's Talking Ginger here again, and it is now time for your extended seven-day forecast. Tuesday looks like a beautiful day with a high at 18 and a low at 6. Wednesday will be even better with a few clouds and highs at 22 and a low at 9. But Thursday will be our changing day as showers and storms return with a high 23 and a low at 9. Friday and Saturday will see temperatures dip right back down to normal first time period with uh, highs at uh, 7 and lows at around 4 or minus 4 or minus 5. Thank you. And now we will join Talking Tyler with your entertainment update. Tyler? Thanks, Tom. Unfortunately, Talking Tyler is unable to join us at the moment. Luckily, I am going to fill in for him, so it's time for your entertainment update. And Harvey Weinstein is at the center of the entertainment business right now. And just yesterday, the folks who run the Oscars, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Artists, have expelled Harvey, saying they wouldn't take the behavior Harvey has caused. This comes after Harvey was fired from his own company, the Weinstein Company, for sexual harassment allegations. Weinstein helped change the rules for the Oscars. And that is your entertainment update, and now back to you. Thank you, Tucker Tyler. Before we leave it tonight, this series is now on a limited schedule. New episodes will now air whenever Tucker News official CSC is fit. And the next episode we predict will be airing next weekend. Anyways, that is all for now here on Talking Tom Men News. Until next time, this is Talking Tom, and I'm Talking Men.